is under more pressure to win a ch NBA championship? Is it the Joker, Nikola Jokic, or is it the seven foot monster in Philadelphia, Joel Embiid? Find out on today's video. Joel Embiid has had an unfortunate time when it comes to the NBA playoffs. This man has had bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. We look at the first big run that he has had in the playoffs. He got his butt blown out by the Boston Celtics. They were irrelevant, and there was just no chance of Philadelphia doing anything in that series. The very next year with Jimmy Butler, they get to the second round, and they get a game seven against the Toronto Raptors, and Kawhi Leonard has one of the most lucky, one of the most unforgettable, one of the biggest trick shot game winners we have ever, ever seen. Hitting the rim five times before it bounces in, sending Joel Embiid crying in the locker room. And then you look at the year after that, Joel Embiid gets hurt. It's Ben Simmons by himself, so they had no chance. They get swept by the Celtics in the first round. And then you go to two years ago. The unfortunate turn of events that happened. One of the most memorable moments in a Ben Simmons history where he passes up a layup in a game seven against the Atlanta Hawks and passes it to my T. Steibel to ultimately lose that series against the Atlanta Hawks and get upset. Not to mention they blew a 25 point lead in game five at home. So they were in shambles after that. So Joel Embiid has had unfortunate unfortunate times in the NBA playoffs. <clears throat> but let's not act like Joel Embiid was a, was a, unstoppable during those playoffs because there's been times he's had little tummy aches or there's been times where he has not shown up in big moments. So let's not act like Joel Embiid has, is just like it's not his fault at all. And there's also been rumors speculating that Joel Embiid, if they are not able to have a deep playoff run this year, that he may request a trade and want out of Philadelphia. And why I think there is a lot of pressure on Joel Embiid to perform this year in the playoffs is because this is probably the best team he has ever had. You could not ask for a better starting point guard than James Harden. He has turned into one of the best passers I've ever seen. You can you that pick and roll is absolutely unstoppable for the Philadelphia 76ers. You could run a pick and roll and give it to him in the post. He's dunking it or slamming it. You can give a little pick and roll to the mid range. He's knocking that down easily. Or you could pick and pop with him into the three point line. And he is knocking that three pointer down 34% of the time. And not to mention, we have not seen James Harden be the, be the James Harden of Houston, because I think he's saving that for the playoffs. So I believe we're going to get the best Philadelphia 76ers that Joel Embiid has ever had. You have a bench with Tyrese Maxey, Montrez, Harrell, uh, DeAnthony Melton. You have a lot of pieces on this team. They traded for Jaden McDaniels, so they have another defensive presence. You have Tobias Harris, who could be a streaky three-point shooter in the NBA playoffs. You have P.J. Tucker, who's one of the best pests in this league, who's one of the best defenders, a great leader, a great glue guy to have on your team. So I think this is probably Joel Embiid's best opportunity to actually come out the East and win a championship. Now, it's not going to be easy with Milwaukee, with Boston, with a young Cleveland, with a, with a young and gritty New York Knicks. There is a lot of teams in the Eastern Conference that could get Philadelphia fits, but I do believe that Philadelphia which Joel Embiid has had, this is the best team that they have. And I think if Joel Embiid is going to underperform again, if he is to lose in the second round or even the Eastern Conference Finals, I think it's 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 a loss of a season. It's an unsuccessful season. It's a disappointing season. And that puts a lot of pressure on Joel Embiid to bring home a championship considering you have nothing else to show for your resume. You are known as a top 10 player in this league. You are known as one of the best guys in this league. You are known as a superstar. And you're unable to get out of the second round? We got to see you get out the second round before we can start calling you a superstar again. Because say he gets he doesn't get out of the second round again, we may have to look at Joel Embiid in a different light. Like maybe he's not the superstar we thought he was. Maybe he's not the best option on the championship team. Maybe he's not the guy on the Philadelphia 76ers. Maybe it's somebody else. Maybe he needs to be the counter the counter duo to somebody else. Maybe he needs a Dame Lillard. Maybe he needs a Trey Young, Stephen Curry. Maybe he needs to be the second option on the championship team. So there's a lot riding on Joel Embiid to win this year in the NBA Finals, at least get to the NBA Finals. We got to see you there, brother. I know it's hard for centers to win in this league nowadays compared to like when it was Elijah Wan and Shaq, 
but I still believe Joel Embiid is good enough to get a team to the NBA championship. So if he he we need to see him get to the NBA finals. And if not, it is gonna be a ugly, ugly look for not only Philadelphia, but for Joel Embiid. But I do believe that Nikola Jokic is under even more pressure to bring a championship home to Denver than it is for Joel Embiid. And that is because I believe Nikola Jokic is on the border of being an NBA great. I think Nikola Jokic is on the border of being the greatest center of all time. I think Nikola Jokic is on the border of being a top 15 NBA player in NBA history. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, back-to-back -back MVP, on the verge of being a three-time MVP, three years in a row, not done since Larry Bird in 84, 85, and 86. I believe Nikola Jokic is on the border of being an all-time great, and bringing home an NBA championship to Denver would be the icing on the cake. You can sign it and seal it and send it off to the NBA Hall of Fame. He is a borderline first ballot hall of famer he is the greatest center of all time if he is able to bring home not only a championship but bring home the finals mvp to the denver nuggets but if he is unable to get to the nba finals people are going to look at nicole Jokic in a different light being like hey man you're a three-time nba mvp you're a back-to-back -back mvp and you can't give me you can't get to the finals you don't have a deep playoff run i think it's more of him having a deep playoff run i think a lot of people want to see him in the western conference finals competing in a game seven seeing what he can do seeing how far he can take his team i think if he go because the past two years he's been out in the second round and in the first round. now granted we can't put that blame on nikola Jokic because if it wasn't for nikola Jokic, those teams would be in the lottery because of how bad they were playing with Campazzo, Austin Rivers, Monte Morris. He had nobody on this team. So I think we have to give Nikola Jokic a pass, but I do understand that we got to start seeing winning. You have Jamal Murray healthy now. You have Michael Porter Jr. healthy now. Aaron Gordon has never looked better. People wanted that guy out of the NBA league, but now with Nikola Jokic, he looks like a borderline star. People thought he was going to be an all-star this year because of how good he's been playing. So this is the year that Nikola Jokic really cements his legacy. Is he an all-time great player, or is he just a really good regular season center and can't get it done in the playoffs? I personally believe he's going to get the job done. I personally think he is going to come out of the Western Conference. I personally think he is going to have a strong, strong chance to win the NBA championship. I think he is going to be an all-time great. I think he's already the greatest center of all time. That's maybe me being a little bit biased because I just love his game. I love his game. I love it. Love it. But that's me being a little bit biased. I think if he's able to win a championship, I think there's no argument. A three-time MVP, a, 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 a passing guru, his basketball IQ is through the roof. He is so smart with the basketball, and he is the Denver Nuggets offense. Hell, he is the Denver Nuggets. It, this is Nikola Jokic's team, ladies and gentlemen. This is, And if Nikola Jokic is able to bring a championship home to Denver, what, what else is there that he needs to do to, to prove himself? There is nothing. I think just getting to the finals is going to show how great he is. With all that being said, I do think there's more pressure on Jokic because I believe Jokic, after winning back-to-back -back MVPs, has been put on a pedestal, has been put on a different level than Joel Embiid, considering Joel Embiid has not won anything. I think Jokic has put himself in that status as a top five, top three player, where Joel Embiid is more of a top 10 player. Not saying that that's bad or anything, but I just think there's more pressure on Nikola Jokic to bring a championship home to the Denver Nuggets. And I do believe he is going to get the job done this year. And I do think he is going to cement his legacy as not only the greatest center of all time, but a top 15 center of all time. And he's just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. He is just getting started. But that's all I got for you all today. I hope you all did enjoy. Leave a like for me if you can. If you all new and if you are new, subscribe to the channel. We post daily basketball and boxing content. We have the best takes on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope Hope you all did enjoy this video. I will see you all next time. It's been your boy Evan and peace.